Have you ever wondered what it's like when you die? Where will you go? What will you feel? Are you even aware of what just happened? I always wondered if I could see my own funeral. Guess so. This is my life. I can't believe this is happening. That's my sister Emily. She's a couple years younger than me, and everybody says that she got the brains in the family. She's also the one that lit her hair on fire two years in a row blowing out her birthday candles. I wish you were still here. Remember how we used to go to Grandpa's every summer? Those summers were some of my best memories. I think it was the anticipation of those trips that got me through the entire school year. Now, my grandparents were never really strict, but there was always one thing you could be sure of. Every Sunday was pancakes and church. Of course, I never really paid attention. It all seemed just boring. The little kid picking his nose in the third row was much more entertaining. But with Emily, it all just seemed to make sense to her. Maybe she was the one with the brains. I hope you listened. <laughs> I miss you too. I have to say, never thought I'd see you in a tie. That's Mr. Davis. He owned a local coffee shop in town, and my family knew him from church, so it was pretty easy to get that job. Keeping it, on the other hand, a whole different story. Boy, you were a handful. Always running late. Surprised you made it here on time. He always said I'd be late to my own funeral. Guess he was wrong about something after all. He really was one of the most patient people I've ever known. <laughs> I remember this one time. You remember when you stole that money from me? He never let me forget that one. I mean, it was like $17 from a tip jar. I had a date with one of the hottest girls in school that night. I had to have some cash. I mean, based on his reaction, you would have thought I robbed a bank. Hope I wasn't too hard on you. Just trying to teach you something. It was much later in life that I learned what Mr. Davis was trying to teach me. He was trying to teach me about character and the importance of even the little decisions that I made in life. But most of all, I think he was trying to teach me about forgiveness. Maybe if I would have learned that a little earlier in life, things could be different now. I can't believe she even came. Why couldn't you have just listened to me for once? If I had a dollar for every time I heard that. Jess is the one that got away. Probably the only girl that I've ever really loved. But she had some issues with the way that I chose to live my life. <laughs> the whole religious thing just, just wasn't for me. I mean, I was young, I had my whole life ahead of me, and I wasn't gonna let anyone tell me how to live my life. I was gonna do what I wanted to do. I mean. Who'd you think she was, my mother? You broke my heart. No, you broke up with me. If you would've just went to the party like I asked you to, I would've never cheated on you in the first place. I hope you were different. I just should've listened. I never wanted to let you down, Mom. I never wanted to let anybody down. How could I be so stupid? I mean, everyone tried to tell me, but, but I wouldn't listen. I, I thought that they were trying to control me. I thought that I knew what was best for me. 
None of it matters now. There are no second chances here. But there is still hope for you. This was my life. Don't make the same mistake with yours.